welcome back to my channel as you can see i'm in a totally different environment than i usually am which is just a white backdrop <laughs> so i usually have something else to look at this time but yeah i'm at my boyfriend's house so that's why i don't have my backdrop with me but i wanted to film for you today so i wanted to show you three different easy eyeshadow tutorials just because i feel like whenever i post these type of makeup looks you guys always ask for a tutorial and so I just thought I would show you what I've been doing lately. I haven't had time to do all these crazy and bold makeup looks lately. So this is what I've been doing um, when I don't have time to do my eyeshadow. It's super, super easy, but still like me, you know? First one is a brown, smoky, kind of glowy cut crease look. <laughs> Actually, they're all cut creases. But yeah. First, I go into a brown shade into my crease. And for that, I'm just using my Too Faced bronzer and this is the Dark Chocolate Solier Deep Tan Matte Bronzer which looks like this if you guys have been watching my videos you already know I always start with this brush right here which is just like a flat top fluffy blending eyeshadow brush so I just plop that right into my crease and I don't know if you guys can tell but these freaking cuts on my eyes or whatever they are came back they went away for a while but I don't know, I think it's something that I'm using that I'm probably allergic to. I think it's when I apply primer on my eyelids. It just makes my eyelids super dry. I don't know why it creates like a cut right there specifically, but it's really weird. But yeah, so just ignore that. Yeah, obviously I'm not wearing primer on my lids because it's been super bad for my eyes. And then I also run that on the bottom of my eyes as well. Next, I'm going into my dirty <laughs> Per Cosmetics Bronze and Brighten palette. This came in one of the BoxyCharm boxes. I'm going to use this flat brush and spray it with some setting spray. I'm going to go into this shade right here. I'm going to shape it while I'm applying it, going above my, my double lid right into my crease where it sinks in when you press your brush in then i'm going to shape this like a cat eye so kind of like you're doing um, a winged liner but then just connecting it to your cut crease as you can see um doing the cut crease it makes my eyes appear a little bit more open but it gives it a little bit of dimension as well because it's like a shimmery brown shade and then by having that first color in the crease it creates a little bit of depth as well and I'm gonna put some of that on my bottom waterline as well or my lash line And I'm gonna go into the shade right here and I'm gonna plop that in my inner corners and also take it up on my finger and just apply some to the center of my lids and that's it for the eyeshadow I'm just gonna apply some mascara and then the lashes I'm just using the better than sex Too Faced mascara For the lashes, I'm using these right here. These are from Bold Face Makeup in the style Go Big or Go Home. And that completes this first look. What I like about this look is that it's so simple, it takes little effort, yet it makes my eyes appear more open. But since it's such a light bronzy color, it doesn't really look like I'm wearing eyeshadow unless you look really close. So it's one of those natural, everyday type of makeup looks. I think the key to this type of look is wearing some really bold lashes. Let's go on to look number two. 
Okay, so look number two is actually pretty similar to the first one. My sister actually requested this one, so that's why I'm putting it into this video. But it's basically the same as the first one. So what you want to do is apply that bronzer or that brown shade into your crease and your bottom lids as well. Or bottom lids. Um, your bottom lash line as well. And then we're going to take a liquid highlighter from Cover FX. I say liquid highlighter because these things show up bright as shit. And that's what we want. <laughs> this is in the shade Celestial. So I'm going to use that same flat brush. And we're going to spray the heck out of it with um, our setting spray. So I'm just going to coat my brush on both sides. I'm not even going to take off my first makeup. So this is a look that I'm trying to show you. <laughs> the white, I wasn't feeling it. It was a little bit too bright. So what you can do is apply like a bronzy color. And this will kind of like tone it down and not make it as bright. So if you're a beginner and you're scared you're going to mess up, start with a light bronzy color first and then go over that with that highlighter. That way you already know the shape that you're going to do and you can just follow that line. If you want your cut crease to um, be brighter than this, then don't apply that bronze shade first. It'll show up like how it did in um, my picture. And I'm gonna leave my bottom lash line the same as the first look and apply this highlighter with my finger in the center of my lids. All I did was add the same lashes that I wore in the first look and I added some more bronzer in my crease as well. So I used the Too Faced and I used the bronzer from the Per Cosmetics palette. But yeah, that completes the second look. It's really easy, really simple. It's pretty much the same as the first look. I just used one extra product. Okay, let's go on to the third and final look. I'm actually going to start over and <laughs> apply some foundation. I'm going to set that with this brush right here. This is just my Maybelline setting powder. Leaving my bottom lash line the same and I'm going to use this fluffy flats brush again And I'm going into these two bronzers again and mixing them I'm going to follow my crease and move it upwards towards my eyebrow and smoke it out And the reason I'm using a lot of the same products in these tutorials is because these are mainly for beginners So I know beginners typically don't have a lot of products So I thought I would just try and use as little products as I could So yeah, I just smoked that out a little bit past my brow so Same thing on this side Following my crease So if you poke in, it'll be easy for you to find that And then just kind of um, go in this little swoop up towards your brows and smoke it out and then I'm going to take this pinky shade right here. This one can be a little bit chalky, so I'm just going to spray my finger with some setting spray. And then just tap that and apply that all over your lids. I'm also going to bring that out and bring that all the way up to my crease. This one you can be a little bit more messy with because you're just using your finger and you can kind of blend that pink into that bronzy shade Whereas the first two you have to use a brush to make it a little bit more crisp looking You know, I'm actually going to go a shade deeper I'm going to go into my Morphe Day Slayer palette. This is the 15D palette And go on my outer corner and the inner corner and if you need to blend that out, you can use a little tiny tapered brush. So I'm going to take some of that color onto this tapered brush and apply some in my crease. Put some on the outer corner and just tap and go in little tiny sweepy motions. And you want to sweep this up as well. When you're adding a darker shade for the crease, you want to start in the middle and then move outwards. That way you can just put most of the product here and then sweep out the rest of the product and it'll make it blend more. So you're putting more pressure here 
and then you're loosening up that pressure when you move outwards and when you move towards the middle. I'm going to apply some of that on my bottom lash line as well. I'm going to apply some more mascara and then my lashes once again and that'll complete the look. loving this third look because it's more of a natural smoky eye but it's a super super easy cut crease because I did not conceal or anything all you need is like three colors at the most and I'm sure you can get away with just using two colors well there you have it those are the three simple eyeshadow makeup looks that I've been wearing for the past couple weeks I hope you enjoyed it let me know in the comments which one was your favorite and if you try out any of these looks please tag me in your pictures at Kristen. thank you so much for watching give me a thumbs up if you liked it subscribe to my channel and don't forget to hit your post notification button as well so you won't miss out on any of my new videos stay caked stay fierce and I'll see you in the next one bye